Eufaula, Oklahoma. Eufaula is a city in and county seat of McIntosh County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 2,813 at the 2010 census, an increase of 6.6% from 2,639 in 2000. Eufaula is in the southern part of the county, north of McAllister and south of Muskogee. The name Eufaula comes from the Eufaula tribe, part of the Muskogee Creek Confederacy. The town and county are within the jurisdiction of the federally recognized Muskogee Creek Nation, descendants of the tribe who were removed here from the southeastern United States in the 1830s. In the southeast, the Muskogee people, then known as Creek by European Americans, occupied a large territory including much of present-day Georgia and Alabama. By 1800, the Creek had a village named Eufaula, located on Eufaula Creek, near what later developed as the present site of Talladega. Alabama. This was one of a group called their Upper Creek Towns. Pickett's History of Alabama mentions an Indian town, belonging to the creek, which he calls Ufaulahatchee. Little Ufauli is mentioned by an historian of this period as early as 1792. Another Upper Creek town called Ufaula was located in the Tallapoosa River, the present town of Dadeville, Alabama developed near there. The Lower Creek had two villages of similar names, Ufaula on the Chattahoochee River in what later became Henry County, Alabama, and Eufaula, located on the east bank of the Chattahoochee River, within the limits of present Quitman County, Georgia. In 1832 the U.S. government had forced the creek to move to Indian Territory and cede their lands in the southeastern United States, as part of a series of sessions they had made. They established Eufaula as a center of creek in their new territory. It was a frequent meeting place of the people who held powwows or Indian conferences in the vicinity during the early days of Creek settlement. In the 1870s G. W. Grayson, then chief of the Creek, his brother Samuel, George Stidham and other Creek leaders, persuaded the Missouri-Kansas-Texas Railway later known as Katy, to locate one of its stations at this site. The older Creek village was moved here to take advantage of the railroad. Eufaula, Indian Territory, present-day Oklahoma began to attract European Americans soon after the Katy Railroad established a station here in 1872. The town was named after George W. Ingall, U.S. Indian agent for the five civilized tribes, suggested the name Eufaula, after the earlier Muscogee tribal town in Alabama. Eufaula incorporated as a town in Indian Territory by 1898. D.B. Whitlow and Joseph Cootie established the first store on the west side of the railroad. The Graysons and G.E. Seals started a store on the east side about the same time. Dr. W.H. Bailey was the first physician and druggist to locate in the new town. Rev. R. C. McGee, a Presbyterian missionary, established one of the first churches in Eufaula. He served there as minister for many years. For years before the American Civil War, the Asbury Mission School, located two miles northeast of Eufaula, was the leading educational institution of that vicinity. It was burned in an accidental fire. After Oklahoma was admitted as a state, Eufaula was part of the newly organized McIntosh County. The residents of Eufaula were involved in a dispute with nearby Dakota, in what was known as the McIntosh County Seat War, during 1907 and 1909. The legislature had designated Dakota as the new county seat, but the people of Eufaula refused to hand over the county records. Soon after, a group of heavily armed men from Czech Tota tried to seize the records from the courthouse in Eufaula, but were beaten back and forced to surrender during a gunfight. One year later, Eufaula was designated as the permanent seat of McIntosh County. The European-American settlers of Eufaula built a school on the east side of the railroad, and established a free school by voluntary taxation. When the Curtis Act was passed by Congress, Eufaula levied taxes and started to build their public school system and to make other needed public improvements. In the early 20th century, the city had paved streets, a splendid white way, five brick and stone schoolhouses, seven churches, a large cotton oil mill, light and ice plant, business blocks, three parks, a waterworks and sewage system, four banks, two hotels, the three-story brick boarding school for Creek Nation girls, and an abundance of natural gas for domestic and commercial purposes. A civic club worked to improve the town. When the Jefferson Highway was first constructed through Eufaula, travelers and trade vehicles could cross the South Canadian River, about four miles below the town, only by ferry. The citizens of Eufaula incorporated the Jefferson Highway Bridge Company, and constructed the Jefferson Highway Bridge, at a cost of almost a quarter of a million dollars. It opened for use April 21, 1920. 
Ufawa is located at 35.291895, minus 95.586528. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and, 31.15%, is water. Ufala is home to Lake Ufala, created as the reservoir for the Ufala Dam. It is the largest lake contained entirely within the state of Oklahoma. Standing Rock, an historical monument, became submerged after the area behind the dam was flooded. As of the census of 2000, there were 2,639 people, 1,150 households, and 663 families residing in the city. The population density was 397.8 people per square mile, 153.7 per square kilometer. There were 1,468 housing units at an average density of 221.3 per square mile, 85.5 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 66.46% white, 17.92% Native American, 7.43% African American, 1.21% Hispanic or Latino of any race, 0.30% Asian, 0.04% Pacific Islander. 0.27% from other races. Respondents of two or more races represented 7.58% of the population. There were 1,150 households out of which 21.3% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 41.1% were married couples living together, 13.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 42.3% were non-families. 38.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 25.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.16 and the average family size was 2.85. In the city, the population was spread out with 20.8% under the age of 18, 6.7% from 18 to 24, 20.0% from 25 to 44. 23.2% from 45 to 64, and 29.2% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 47 years. For every 100 females, there were 81.4 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 75.8 males. The median income for a household in the city was $20,547, and the median income for a family was $28,871. Males had a median income of $25,673 versus $19,405 for females. The per capita income for the city was $15,521. About 20.9% of families and 27.6% of the population were below the poverty line, including 45.4% of those under age 18 and 17.8% of those age 65 or over. The first issue of the Indian Journal was published in 1876. It is the oldest continuously published newspaper in Oklahoma. Noted people who worked for the Indian Journal include Alexander Posey, who was editor and also published his Fix Bujito letters in the early 1900s, commenting on Creek Nation and Indian Territory politics. This was the only daily Indian newspaper at the time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.